What I go on YouTube nation? A me, man. It's a be. Yeah, you know it go when certain things are broke down your yard that this are the place where you wanna get a balanced opinion, if you will, um about those issues. And today we wanna to look on this taxi strike. I mean, if it never so serious, it would be funny. But it is serious. Um but before we dive into the thing, we just have to ask you again, you know, if you don't like the video, then we would like you just, you know, subscribe to the channel. You know, I mean, I want to big up the people who support the channel so far. But just uh, remind me, just, you know, if you don't subscribe yet, subscribe to the channel. And, um, of course, just touch the little like button there and, you know, like the video there, man. And, and even more so, um, share your thoughts. You know, provide your feedback in the comment section. And, um, you know, looking at the description too. Because I'm going to start leave some little things in the description. So we can get, you know, engage more of my followers and listeners and stuff. But to the matter at hand. Now, taxi man in Jamaica announced and actually have affected a transportation strike. I mean, if it wasn't so serious, it would be laughable. And why it's serious is that here we have a bunch of ragtag, you know, and, and to a large extent, a good side of them, criminal, right? Because most of them now no operate taxi with no, with no nece necessary legal um, grounding. But they're out there, and they have become a critical part of the transportation system. So much so that them pulling away them illegal or unlawful in a lot of instances services is now having a significant effect on the social life of, of the, the, the country, specifically the metropolitan centers, you know, thing. And and where that come from? Transportation is a major part of how you mobilize a, a, a people. You, you, you move people around using public transportation. And so to a large extent, public transportation has to be in, in, a, in a country like Jamaica. Public transportation really has to be provided by the state. It's one of those last leading items because you don't measure the, the public transportation in terms of profitability, but you look at it in the context of how you get people around safely, timely, so that you can keep the wheels of the country's production turning. Instead, what have we done? And, and let's go back. In, the, in the, the, the 60s and the 70s, Jamaican public transportation was, was offered by, I think it was a, um, a, a, a consortium, uh, the Jamaica Omnibus Services Limited, right? Um, and of course, the, 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 without getting into the details of the arrangement, it was public transportation, largely provided in Kingston, and um, that was where the, the that that has always been the, the the metropole in terms of the country's production. But at the same time, what it also exposed is the weaknesses or deficiencies in terms of how we move people within the different population centers. And as the country developed, what has happened is instead of us trying to develop a public transportation system, we, come the 1980s, we started to just shed a, a lot of these things. And, and we shedded the JOS, you know, under the Siaga administration, we shedded that. Um, and then we introduced this ragtag system where we, we, we engaged Local operators, you know, most of them untrained, largely hustlers who could have buy a bus. And in a country like Jamaica, where weed and coke money are run, everybody could have afforded to spend a whole heap of money and, and, and buy these buses. And the government basically saw it as an opportunity for raise tax revenue and you really push back the whole business of efficiency and discipline because. It's the road that determines, you know, where your discipline in your country is going, how people use the road. 
And so when you now have every little barefoot man who, you know, only part of them half done boy and, and thing where I left school, can barely read and write in a country that is mired in a corruption, you know, to get a car on the road, first of all, you should at least have a license. Most of them can't pass a driving test because half of them can't friggin' read and write. And if you can't read and write, you don't understand the rules of the road. You don't understand what a stop sign means, what a traffic light is thing. The, the, the rules that govern driving on the road, so you follow behind each other and all of these things. You, you start to see the manifestation of them. And so what you get is a plethora of road accidents. And the taxi man believe that, you know, um, they have to make a money. Most of them can't really afford a car. So the people who can buy a car and put it on the road. You, you have man out there with 10, 20 cars. And taxi man thing is, the man they need to give the, the car owner X amount of money a day. Right? so that them can keep the car and you know whether the car the state of repair that's a whole different issue but the bottom line is we created a transportation um oversight structure if you will to to provide oversight to an illegal activity it is the most it's the most incredible thing right and so what you now have is all sort of criminal you know we, we say government have, I put out advertising to show women how to use a taxi cab because some of them, you know, them conducive to the rapists who are taking women them up and carry them all about the place. We have the, the level of accidents on the road, overcrowding in another car, and instead of addressing the, the serious issue of putting in mass transportation in Jamaica, what we have done is created the kind of structure that A, because every car that is out on the road is an opportunity for tax revenue to the system, right? Um, the, by extension, the ticket system, even though it now work, is an additional source of tax revenue, right? And so this is what we have become, and, and the people who suffer, <laughs> believe it or not, is the public. And so you look around now, here is the taxi man them who have piled up billions of dollars of traffic ticket that is almost a waste of time for issue a traffic ticket. Kind of they ain't paying shit, right? And 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 the police who are issued a the ticket, them are fighting for them pocket to them because the price of a ticket, if a if a fine is ten dollar policeman literally are opening ticket book and say, watch out, right or left, you know, and when basically I say, Do you want me write a ticket? I yeah, left something. You know, so it's a massive source of income for the corrupt policeman on the road, right? And the system overall, every aspect of it is riddled with corruption. And so our political process, which is corrupt to its core, is left with the job of providing oversight to this kind of thing. So the tax man then basically said, but the government just announced amnesty for gunman, for bringing in gun, right? You imagine that this is the problem, you know. And so we want a traffic ticket amnesty because in other cases some policemen are lock up them backside on the road for no pay thing and take out them car. Them basically determine so we want an amnesty. We want an amnesty for no pay none of them traffic finding, right? Because you just get gunman amnesty. And if we now get the amnesty there, we are gonna take away the services off of the road. And then to, um, to, to, to demonstrate, you know, how much them serious about what they do. They pull back them service and, and that's bad enough. The few taxi man who decides, oh, boy, I'm mean, have to still eat a food and look after my family. Them out and they want to intimidate those taxi men. Them are draw out people out of the people, them care, you know, them set fire to the road and all of that. And, and what you are now watching is the final act. This is a society that is descending into chaos. And we have a, a, a government structure that is absolutely powerless to deal with the problem. Think about it, right? Powerless. And so school can't keep because class is now, you know, in a, some instances, school have to just go up on suspension of classes because students can't come over. You imagine, students are supposed to have had the pen a taxi service because in a country where you can, Jamaica, people barely are earning the money. Average wage is about what? 
um, $7,500 um, a week, which do the maths, you know, it is, it's, it's about what, $50, there about, right? $50 US a week. And you have to pay a taxi two, three hundred dollar fare trip. So all you send you picking them a school in an environment like that is bad enough. In a case like this now where the one them who are beat the system or fight a, a pushback against the, the other ripoff artists them are gonna charge a little more money where them can get you. Right? And we have a government that stand up there and is powerless. We can't do a shit about it, right? We can't expand public transportation at the level of a JUTC because of the, again, the level of corruption, right? That entity, while useful and necessary, is being run into the ground because everybody sees it as a feeding tree. The bus drive out at the station, the full tank of gas, and by the time it, 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 it reach a, a little area, them cut off of the route and the man them siphon out the gas and the bus run out of gas and road. Them are thief the parts because they can resell the parts to other people out there. I mean, there's a country that is just, it, 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 there's just no, no, no rules, not that, right? The same policeman who was supposed to enforce the road traffic act, a good 30% of the car they made up on the road are run illegal taxi, a them own it, right? And so, you know, the transport authority people, them, same kind of thing. So everybody who, all of these areas that the government successive administrations have put in place to regulate public transportation in Jamaica, it has basically created a different set of feeding tree. And so that is the society that we have become in a Jamaica. And we see now the final act where the man must show the government and the people of Jamaica say, guess what? Only thing going in charge, only do in charge of shit. Are we in charge of this? Right? How do we fight that? Because that is the answer once we, we can work out how we ever deal with this thing, you know, how do we provide the answers? We have ministers who, you know, by their own behavior, right, them basically demonstrate to the public, say, we are rabble, and so we are going to support the rabble. When we have ministers of government, we call other Jamaicans, dirty nigger, nasty nigger, and that, you know, thing. And nobody you knows say anything wrong with that, right? When we... We give every man a bly because they have to eat a food, right? right? When we issue contracts and licenses to a friend them so that them can make a money, and it no matter how much it will cost the country, it will cost the taxpayers because as long as them pocket fat, this is what you get, you know? And so we are in trouble. And, you know... People may wonder, you hear about taxi man strike. That is the reason why the man them are strike. And they have basically brought the country to its knees. Because guess what? Nobody. No, in fact, let me rephrase that. The lunatics are now running the madhouse down the yard. Right? That's where we are. Let me hear your feedback. Eh? Let, me, let me hear from... If, if you disagree with me, I you have know, a problem with that. But mother love. Um, see some of your feedback in the comment section and again me just want to invite you if you like videos you know just hit the like button subscribe to the channel share with your friend then. oh and by the way you, you kind of get a little cold in the place and you know, so we have to use this opportunity here. you see this is a some hoodies and things where we have, we have a market now and if you go up from a website you know the um i may have put the link in the you know the the um you know, the, the, the description of the video and go up on the thing and give us some support. See, we have some nice cap, hoodies, t-shirts and all of that. And that help keep us on the, um, you know, keep the program running. And, and at the same time too, you know, invite you to check out my other um, website, Yard Media, where we talk about Jamaican music. You know, we only focus on discussion and the history and of Jamaican music where we interview a whole heap of the artists and we play the music as well. So check that out, you know. But until then, I me, Mr. B, I may say more time. But give me a feedback on the taxi man thing. Tell me what you think. Respect.